Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Dooley Does Food, and I'm your host, Dooley Noted. <laughs> All right, girls, I see you watching these videos. Shout out to Maddie Rants and the Rant Pack for coming through. I see y'all watching my videos. That's super exciting, but I don't see the girls like, share, and subscribing. She's trying to monetize. I need them likes. I need them shares and them comments. Come on through. <laughs> All right, so on today's episode of Dooley Does Food, I am posting uh, the strawberry pie that I made for Pie Day 3.14159265358 and all the rest of the numbers. Y'all know what it is. So let's go ahead and buckle up, get ready for this delicious strawberry dessert. See you on the other side. All right, so first let's go ahead and break down these strawberries. As you can see here, I'm just using my chef knife real neatly, real carefully, and I'm quartering the strawberries. You should have four approximately equal sections. I also have about a pound of strawberries. Put them in a bowl, and then we're gonna do what? You guessed it, macerate. If you saw the last video, uh, that I did with a dessert, we macerated the strawberries so that we can bring out the flavor. Add in a half cup of sugar along with your strawberries. Slice and juice half a lemon and add a pinch of salt. Then cover with plastic wrap and put in the refrigerator for at minimum an hour and at most about two and a half. While our strawberries are resting in our fridge, let's go ahead and get our graham cracker crust together. Child, say that 10 times fast. Here I have five tablespoons of butter that we are going to melt. Put it on the stove at medium low. Use a spoon or a spatula to agitate and stir so that it doesn't burn. And when your block is nice golden liquid, turn it off. Next, we gotta break down our graham crackers. So, take about a cup and a half of graham crackers. That's about 10 to 11 sheets. Add in a little bit of sugar. I think for this recipe, I used a fourth of a cup. Then we're gonna take that five tablespoons of butter that we needed and pour that into our blender here and then use your pulse feature to break down and integrate all of the ingredients. You want them to be integrated, you want them to look like a sandy beach. Anything more than that, you did too much girl and you gotta start over. Take out a nine to 10 inch pie pan and then Use a spatula to remove the crumbs from your blender. Then use a combination of the spatula and those two things on your body called your hands to flatten the graham cracker crumbs along the pie pan. You want it to be flat and you want the crumbs to also raise up on the sides of your pan as well. It might take you a few tries, it might take you a little bit. You also want to make sure that there are no cracks in your crust, otherwise anything you put in it will leak and we don't want a leaky pie. Then we're going to take our graham cracker crust, put it in the oven for 10 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for about 7 or 8 minutes and then turn your oven up to 450 and finish it off for another two to three minutes. You do not want to burn your crust, and remember, you just want it to be a nice golden brown. Now that your crust is done, and your strawberries are finished macerating, we can begin to make our strawberry filling. Take your strawberries and all the contains from your bowl, put it in a saucepan. Add in a half a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of lemon juice, and about, mm, let's just say one tablespoon of cornstarch. Then we're gonna let our mixture simmer on low heat. 
keep an eye on it you may need to add a little bit more water as your mixture cooks that cornstarch is going to start to thicken up and really pull all those ingredients together keep stirring so that you don't burn your mixture but once your fruits soften and you get the sugary syrupy you know kind of consistency go ahead and turn that heat off we then need to let our strawberry filling cool to room temperature before we use it for our pie. So you may need to, hmm, I think I let mine cool for about an hour before I put it in my crust. While your filling is cooling in your fridge, Use that time to prepare your whipped cream topping. Start with one cup of cold, can I say this any harder, cold heavy whipping cream. If it's warm, you will not get peaks, you will not get whipped cream. Add two tablespoons of confectioner's sugar, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter teaspoon of lemon extract and then any other accent flavors that you want to infuse into whipped cream for this recipe i used a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg and then a quarter of a teaspoon of cardamom If you're using a hand mixer or a KitchenAid stand mixer like me, set your mixer no higher than maybe medium to medium high speed for approximately five to six minutes. Using a higher setting or going longer than that time threshold, you run the risk of seizing up your cream. And then what you'll have is churned butter, not the silky whipped cream that we need for this recipe. Keep an eye out for stiff peaks. Anything looser than that is not really what we're looking for. Also, please, if you can help it, do not walk away from your mixer. I absolutely guarantee if you stop to send a text, check your fridge, talk to your neighbor, check Facebook, you will turn back and your whipped cream will be a seized up buttery brick. Once again, do not leave your mixer. Keep an eye on this. It's very delicate and I want you guys to have a great experience. Keep an eye on it. By now, your filling should be cool. So go ahead and add that onto your graham cracker crust. Use a spatula to get any remnants out of your pot. Next, take your spatula and layer your whipped cream on top of your strawberry filling. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, this is a labor of love. It takes a lot of patience. Work slowly, work steadily. Remember, focus. <laughs> I promise you will get through this. Once you have an even layer, it should look like this. We can now add our final touches with our garnish. I chose to finish our pie with a bit of orange zest and then some of the spices that we use in our whipped cream. So I also added that nutmeg, I added that cardamom, I added that cinnamon. Not only does it add extra flavor to the pie, it brings some contrast of color. Look how beautiful the addition of this garnish is. Look what it adds to our pie. Remember, we don't just eat with our mouths, we eat with our eyes. Was that not delicious? Was that not delectable? 
a little fun. <laughs> that that pot was really delicious. It's super easy. Um, you have so much versatility with what you can do with that whipped cream. You can literally add whatever you want and give it a little extra pizzazz, a little extra pop. Anyway, thank you all for joining me for today's episode of Dooley Does Food. Once again, I'm your host, Dooley Noted. And don't forget, like, share, comment, subscribe. Send this to your auntie, your mama, your cousin, whomever. I got to get them views up. I'm trying to monetize, trying to get this coin. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all for the next episode. Peace.